Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ancestral Healing. Today I'll be filling in for Petra. So we will be making a video on the grocery haul, just in time for the holidays to give you guys some great ideas of what to cook, how to feed the family, and bring the nutrient density all at once. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so first up here, uh, we have some beef fat trimmings that I had already taken out and chopped up into these big cubes. Um, one of the most important things that I find, um, especially when people just start um, eating this way on the ancestral carnivore, ketovore, or whatever you may be, um, is that they don't get enough fat in. So what we like to do is we like to pair a good amount of beef fat trimmings in every meal, uh, just to give that right uh, proper ratio between protein and fat. So it is one of the most essentials. Um, always there's a beef fat trimming um, order in every order for our grocery haul. And we'll just take it out, cut it up into cubes, put it into a bag. And that will last for a good amount of time until we need to order some more. Next here we have some lengua de res, which translates directly to beef tongue. This is actually one of our uh, most favorite cuts. Um, I would say it's a bit of a delicacy, um, especially with the way that we make it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find it on the channel if you look up for the beef tongue recipe. Uh, we just have a, a way to fry it at the end that just really brings out tremendous flavor. Ground beef up next with a little different touch. Um, we like to add 20% fat as well to our ground beef. Um, I know you're seeing fat come up a lot, but it actually is very important. Um, a lot of people don't feel as comfortable eating this for whatever reason, um, or they just don't know about it. Um, so a great alternative is to ask the butcher to add it to your ground beef. And just recently, we actually had started been asking for um, our organs, things like uh, liver, uh, tongue, heart, and um, those kind of cuts to be also mixed in to your ground beef. So it's a great way to get your organs in uh, for anybody who is, you know, a little bit afraid or finds it a little bit to be too gamey. Um, it's not for everybody. It's definitely an acquired taste. Um, but sneaking it into your ground beef at a small percentage is a great way to get it in because it's fantastic superfood for you, uh, despite the taste. We love it here. We don't mind it. Um, but I can, I can totally understand if um, others may not feel the same because it's a bit of a gamey acquired taste. But just remember that this is great food for you. And I feel like if you really did understand that, um, you will learn to love your organ meats and learn to incorporate it with all your meals. So next up we have, of course, Costillas de res, which is basically beef ribs. Um, I love beef ribs. As you can see, it's a great amount of fat there. It's um, a great option for the family. Um, family style ribs always hits, at least in my household. And up next, we have a sirloin. Big piece of steak, which is fantastic. Could easily feed, I'd say one to two, one big meal or two meals. We've got some cowboy steaks, some cute little cowboy steaks, some great fat in there. Some more cowboy steaks. One last piece of cowboy steak. Okay, and next up we have what I would consider the most important item of the grocery haul, clarified butter ghee. And the reason why I say it's the most important is that I honestly really do believe that if everybody just switched the toxic seed oils with this, the world would be a better place. Forget about the meat, forget about all that stuff. If we are just to make one single change into every single household to swap out toxic seed oils with healthy, clean, Clarified butter ghee, which holds the highest smoking point, which is literally liquid gold. Do you see the color here, guys? Do you know what that color is? That's the gold color, because this is gold. So, if there's one thing I want to really nail down home today, buy yourself some ghee, guys, all right? Buy yourself some quality animal fats, whether that's beef tallow, whatever you want to use. Throw away the seed oils. A lot of people message us, what about olive oil? Well, a lot of olive oil is cut with seed oils. Unless you're buying the super expensive, uh, straight from Italy, uh, nice expensive oil, which, you know, rarely people do unless, you know, if that's your thing. Um, cut all the oils. Let's use ghee. Let's use beef tallow. Let's use lard. 
let's use the better, more optimal cooking uh, fats. Because this is honestly what's gonna make you feel much better. I remember when I first switched over um, from seed oils, it was like night and day. Um, right now, you guys may be following, but um, we do have somebody who's been testing this way of eating. His name is David. We've been helping and coaching him along the way. And uh, we've been really teaching him about what to eat and what to swap out. And one thing that I noticed is the moment that we changed him from seed oils to ghee, he's been feeling fantastic. He's, he loves ghee. He went from somebody who didn't have any kind of idea of how these things work to now cooking for himself. He's empowered. He's doing his own groceries. He's cooking at home. He's using the right fats and he's feeling great. And I believe he may be around day 15, 16 already tremendous results. So just to show you the secret power of using the right fats, um, for anybody who's watching who's new or who've never heard of this way of eating before, the, the one main message that I want to deliver today is please swap out those toxic seed oils. Please stop eating at those restaurants are serving and cooking with those toxic seed oils, dousing delicious, amazing food on all toxic seed oils. And remember, vegetable oil can start a car. Okay, so what on earth are we doing cooking with something that could literally start a car? It's like cooking with jet fuel. It doesn't make any sense. So please, let's bring the awareness. Let's buy ghee, let's buy beef tallow, let's buy all the good animal fats that have been demonized over time that we've been lied to, to think that it's unhealthy or it causes all sorts of issues that it doesn't. No guys, this is it, this is the real deal. We buy about three of these per week. Don't judge, we love it. I can literally just open this up and start eating out of it. Um, sometimes I often I do. I put a lot of ghee in my cooking. I put a lot of ghee on top on finishing and it just adds tremendous flavor. So we love ghee. And if you guys have any other ideas of what kind of things to order for the grocery store, let me know, comment down below. Um, I think it's also very important to be prepared. I find often with the holidays, um, it's very easy to feel outcasted during this time just because typically what people order or what people eat around this time may not be optimal. So you really have to stand your ground. And what I find is that the easiest thing to do, and even if I'm, let's say, showing up to a dinner that not necessarily everybody is animal-based or don't even know about this diet, I find the best way what to do is just sort of just come prepared and bring food that's prepared, that is just undeniably delicious. Um, I've never uh, ran into any issues or awkwardness when I brought delicious food that everybody enjoyed. And that takes time. So today I really want to inspire you guys to be prepared and order nutrient density and show everybody that there's still a healthy way to enjoy and indulge in the holidays and that we don't have to be eating things that are gonna make us feel like crap after. So make undeniably delicious meat-based, animal-based, amazing food. Bring it to share with everybody and you won't have any issues and you won't fall into temptation to eat the vegetable oils, the carbs, and the refined sugars. So I hope that's helped you guys, uh, give you some ideas. Uh, make sure to let us know uh, what you're ordering this um, holiday. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.